What does it mean to grow? What does it take? Is it just the passage of time? Or the workings of the mind? Is it fun? What does it cost? Is it worth it? Or would it leave me feeling confused? And lost? Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on the time you're watching this. More like listening, actually, depending on the time you're hearing this. <laughs> In any ways, my name is Sylvester Mumba or Xander Brown or Alexander or Lex or X or it, there's there's just a number of names. Okay, it's, it's a collection. I think I think they just yeah. I think I think I'll just um, yeah. I collect names. <laughs> In any case, um, this is episode one of the Explore podcast. And um, on this platform, we basically just share ideas. We dissect ideas. We criticize ideas. We, we just place things on a table. We open them up and we examine them. And these things are just topics. These things are ideas, concepts. These things are beliefs. These things are mentalities and everything that has to do with the thoughts that go on in our minds and the behaviors that we um, we uh, we have, I guess. Um, so, in a nutshell, this is this is where you we where you learn to grow from. This is. Um, a lot to do with personal growth, um, self-discovery, self-actualization, and all these very heavy topics that most people just either dance around or just to run from altogether. Uh, so I do want to mention, though, that in as much as I have thought of doing this for a very long time, I didn't really get around to doing it because I, I always... I always thought that I was not ready. I feel like maybe I was a little scared, but because as I talk to people um, about different things and share my ideas on different things, this this just keeps popping up. It's like, why don't you why don't you try a podcast? You should you should start a podcast. And I'm like, you are just one person. A podcast needs a lot, and they're like, no, nah, there's more. I'm like, I don't know. So this is me. Just rolling this out there as unprepared as I am. And, and I'm just saying this because for the first few episodes of this, there will be no visuals. So there's no video, just my voice. And I'm hoping that I can be as entertaining as possible to keep you engaged for the 10 to 15 minutes that I'll be just rambling on this thing. Okay, so... um. With that much, I think I want to appreciate just three names out of the many that I've, um, I've, I've gotten this comment from. But three have really stuck out because they just they just keep saying it. They just keep saying it, really. Um, I'm not saying any last names. Just, you know, you all are just, you're going to look people up. And, you know. So the first one is Tando. Tando just, just kept saying, if you, if you start a podcast... I'll subscribe. I'll be there. I will listen. I'm like, okay, fine, fine. You're just one person, but you are very, very committed. So I, I will, I will listen. The second person is Ntomesha. I, um, yeah, she's like, you know what? I should manage you. And I'm like, huh? manage me, huh? Okay. We should talk about that. Yeah. Cause she really just like, you should do this. You should charge people. In fact, and I don't know. I charge people. Maybe I should charge people. Yeah, I'll charge you a like and a comment. <laughs> the third person is William. 
William just just he was literally on okay not literally because literally is like but he was on my neck okay I like, guess you have you done it yet are you doing it have you so I yeah I had to do it I had to do it um but yeah I'm really grateful to these people that um just really prompted me to do this because I probably would have just kept putting it off until a, a much much later time so in this first episode of um the explore podcast what I want to talk about is the idea of value, okay? Because the more I talk to people about personal growth and 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 and, and personal development and self discovery and all these things to do with the self, is the more I I, I understand or um, observe that many people have very minimal understanding of their personal value. Okay. And, and unfortunately that to me is the primal currency of, of the world. You know, almost everything that goes on has got to do with value. Somebody says, um, you can explain the world and all the things that happen in it using economics, you know, and the basic principles of economics are, if I'm not mistaken, supply and demand, you know, who wants who or who wants what or who is willing to give what in order to get what. That's basically the the um, the um, the foundation of all of it, you know, and to me, all that, you know, those words mean is value, you know, uh, as an example, if somebody brings a phone to you worth 2000 kwacha, okay? And you have in your pockets 2,000 kwacha. You will give them that money and you'll get that phone. And you're both happy because you have given the exact amount of value that you've gotten. Okay? Be, be that, you know, even though the, the, the particular commodities are different. You know, you've got a phone and you've given money, but the value is the same. Right? But if somebody brings to you a phone that's worth 2,000 kwacha and you have 200 kwacha, okay? that that doesn't work that exchange is not fair it doesn't work right and if the person who brings you the phone knows the value of the phone and knows what the money that you have you know equates to they will say no this this is not going to work right the only way that this works maybe is maybe if you um you give me let's say a thousand 500 kwacha worth of service you know whatever other thing you can do you know maybe you you're a singer you sing you know, at a gig for free, and then I'll give you the phone, and then you give me the 200 kwacha, right? So now you're trying to negotiate this space where you want to equate the value that you get to the value that you're giving, because this is the primary way of, um, of um, I guess, of, of interacting with and, and negotiating with, with other, you know, people and other avenues of life. So... Imagine you are holding a phone in your hand and you don't know the value of that phone. You walk up to somebody and you're like, oh, I, I want to want to sell you this phone. And they're like, how much are you selling it at? You're like, I, I, um, how much do you have? So if you go with that approach and the person knows what that phone is worth and they know that you don't know, they will obviously give you a price that's way lower than the, the value of that phone, right? Now, bad as that situation seems, that is the truth of a lot of people. Except they're not having a phone in their hand. They're having their life. They're having their entire idea of self-worth in their hand. And they don't know what the value of that whole thing is. So then they're walking up to people and saying, yo, I'm, I'm giving this, you know. And the person's like, oh, okay, uh, what, are, what are you asking for? They're like I, I don't know, I don't know what what you have, and uh, obviously they will be taken advantage of, right? So it's really important to understand your value, to understand your worth. And when I'm saying your worth, I'm not just talking about like the theoretical, arbitrary. Oh, you know, I'm worth a lot. No, like if you can get down to the number, get down to the number. And here's how you do it: if you are um, you're a tailor, for example. And um, let's say in a day where you're you're very productive, you can make four dresses, right? And each dress costs um, maybe 250 kwacha, 
you're 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 just starting out. You're not trying to you know charge an arm and a leg. So you make you make dresses, and each of them costs two two hundred and fifty kwacha, right? So if you can make four in a day, that means you can make a thousand kwacha in a day. So that's the value of your day. So your day is a thousand kwacha. That means that if you spend your day with your friend Margaret, and you you just chat the day away, you have spent a thousand kwacha on Margaret, right? If you spend your day um, watching Netflix, you have spent one thousand kwacha on Netflix, right? Now I'm not saying this because I think that we should only pursue money we should do everything just for money because that doesn't work and if you have really understood what i'm saying i'm talking about value more than money because money is just one of the measures of value right it only happens to be the most universal and the most um easily accepted you know measure of value so if you're going to spend your day with margaret which is not a bad thing just make sure that within that day you get something that's going to add to you okay so if you and margaret are going to sit and the whole time you're just talking about oh do you know what this one did do you know what that one did? then you are really just wasting your day because all of that insight all of that information does not add to you okay remember you're you're spending a thousand on margaret right but if if margaret's like hey um i have a i have a business idea that i think you should try out oh oh i i have um maybe like a like a saturday market that i think you should display your dresses at those guys buy things that like a like you know a thousand kwacha each right and then she gives you that so margaret has you know given you something that's of value that will help increase your value over time if from that interaction with margaret you have uh, learned of this new um market where you can sell your your um your clothes uh you will be able to fetch more money for whatever you make right you um you get more appreciation for whatever you make uh because of the interaction you had with margaret so that means that she has helped you become a better you know a better business person or a better you know um craftsman or a better you know um, entrepreneur because of that interaction so that 1000 that you spent on her was actually an investment. It wasn't money wasted. It was an investment. You know, in the same way if you decide um to go to um to travel to Kasama maybe, just oh, I'll just see the world, I'll see the country, I'll appreciate the beauty and whatever. You you decide to do that, right? That's not that's not wasted money if it gives you something that betters you as a person. You know, maybe from your travel, you're like, oh, so the fashion sense here is like this. It's different from Osaka. Oh, what if I can add a spin of this to whatever I make? Oh, the colors here are like this. Oh, I didn't know this color worked with this color. What if I could use this? Like you're you're gaining, you know, you're you're seeing the world. And I think travel is like a great thing to do, by the way. You know, just if you can, if you just 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 go somewhere, okay? you're gaining insight you're you're learning things you're bettering yourself you're 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 becoming a, a more productive you're becoming a more valuable person because of that particular trip that you've taken so that's an investment right again not to say that everything is about money right because sometimes you need to rest okay for you to uh, be as productive as possible you need to to be re, um, re, replenished you need to be um, um, refueled you need to be uh, refreshed so if you take a day off to go and um, you know just relax right and then after that relaxation you come back and your productivity has increased then you have improved the person that you are so that particular day off that you've taken is not wasted it's an investment so in the end it's all about what is it that you gain in terms of the betterment you know of you as a person so it's not all money because some gains are way more than money more important than money more profound than money more everlasting or more um impactful than money you know um you can interact with 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 margaret for example 
And Margaret is like, ah, oh, you you know what? You're a really good tailor. Um, I know somebody who's looking for, you know, a tailor. And then Margaret, you know, puts you on a call with somebody who says, you know what? You are the person I was looking for. And I'm going to give you this, this huge gig. Okay. So Margaret didn't give you money, but she gave you value in a network. So it all is about value, you know. But then I think a lot of people don't understand how to measure their own value. And it starts with the thought of what you want versus what you can give. So if you were asked, if you're asked to um, to describe your ideal life, you know, where you want to work, who you want to live with, who you want to be with, where you want to live and all these things, would you be able to, to paint a picture? And I'm not saying like a picture painted, you know, on a canvas or a paper or anything, but would you be able to explain these things? I think, I think most people can, you know, I, I know I can, right? So you can, you can explain where you want to work, the company, you can even say the position that you want to hold. You know, obviously it has to be something of, of power, right? You can say the neighborhood you want to live in. You can say the type of house you want to live in. You can say all these things, right? Like who you want to marry. She has to look like a model and blah, 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 all these things that you want, right? But now imagine you are given all those things and then you're asked, how will you sustain these different environments? How will you be an asset to these different environments? How will you be beneficial to them? So you have gotten your perfect job, like the dream job, the, the one that you've always, you never, you never thought you would get. You have the position that you want in the company that you want. Now, how do you make that company better? How do you make it thrive? How does that company benefit from you being a part of it? That's what we don't think about. We're always thinking about what we want, what we deserve, what we need. It's all about what, what gains I, I, I will get from this, right? But then what are you giving? Because what you're giving is the value that you have. What you're getting is a value that you're getting, right? So it's like this, the, 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 the phone analogy, you know, you have 200 kwacha. You are able to give 200 kwacha, but you want to get a phone that's worth 2,000 kwacha. That doesn't work. It means that Whenever you go into any negotiation, you will not be able to get what you want because you don't have something of equal value to give, right? So you really, really have to get to the point where you stop thinking of everything in terms of what you will get and then stopping there. It's okay to think of what you will get. It's okay to understand what you will get, but you have to go beyond that and think of what you will give or what you can give because that that particular part of the thought process of the self discussion is what will give you a good um what can i say it will give you a good um understanding of your value you know so then like look at it in terms of um uh like in a global kind of space if today we um, uprooted you from your, your home and we planted you in a different country, how would you be able to make something of yourself in that country? What can you do? What can you give? What value do you have? You know? And, and, and the more you think about things like this, I know it's depressing at the start, especially if you've never thought about them, because there are some truths that you will, um, you'll figure out that are very, very dark. You know, you realize I have been uh, empty or I have been uh, sitting on my hands or I have been doing nothing or I have been entitled or I have been passive. Like It's okay because you are just starting from there. It's not okay if you stop and leave it there. Now that's bad. But, you know, we all start from somewhere. So you start with the thoughts, you start with the questions, you start with the, you know, uh, the reframing of your reality and then you get to figuring out the ways around it. All right. So this is enough challenges for you. You, you, you can um, you can run back and uh, listen to the bits that you, 
you might not have gotten. Um, I know I rambled a lot on a number of the topics, um, but basically, all of all of what life is is value being exchanged. You have to understand what your value is, and that will help you fetch exactly what you want. Because in a number of cases, you are you're more likely going to get what you want if you have something worth that or more to give. So um, this is it for me. Um, uh, I will be saying my goodbyes. And uh, I really want to say thank you to everyone that has listened to this point. Um, please feel free to um, to ask questions, to you know send comments, to um, suggest what you want me to talk about, um, and to interact and engage because basically this is just a platform where all of our thoughts can be aired out. So um, thanks so much for listening. I wish you a great day and let's keep growing.